groundsman were once awarded Man of the Match in a Test Match groundsman Chris Scott and his staff were awarded Man of the Match for their efforts to make play happen during a rain-affected test match between New Zealand and South Africa, which ended on December 12, 2000. They had ensured that 190.5 overs of play were possible despite the first, third and fourth days play being abandoned without a ball bowled. Ramesh Power reapplies for Indian women's team coach Post Ramesh Power has reapplied for the Indian women's team head coach position after receiving support from T2OI captain Harman Preet Kaur and vice captain SM T Mandana. The BCCI had decided not to extend his contract after it and ended on November 30 following women's WT20 controversy involving Mithali Raj. I can't let SM T and Harman Preet down after knowing they back me, he said. Ashwan who bowled 86.5 overs in first test out of second due to injury off spinner Ravi Chandran Ashwin, who bowled 86.5 overs and took six wickets in the first test against Australia, has been ruled out of the second test due to an abdominal injury. Rohit Sharma, who scored 38 in the Adelaide test, will also miss the test owing to a back injury. The second test will take place at Perth from December 14. BCCI shares pick of pitch at Perth. User jokes, can't high pitch. After BCCI shared the picture of the great green pitch to be used for the second Australia-India test at Perth, a user tweeted, can't high pitch. Quote, another user wrote, where is the pitch? It's just the outfield pitch co-identify kind Keely A. Uncle Bathka Chalk Peace Shea Mark Car. Rehu Hai Taki Differentiate Car Sarke Read another tweet. India lose to Netherlands in last eight. Crash out of Hockey World Cup India crashed out of the Men's Hockey World Cup after losing in their quarter-final to Netherlands 1-2 on Thursday. Akash Deep Singh scored in the 12th minute to give India the lead but Netherlands equalised in their 15th minute and scored the winner in the 50th minute. Three-time champions Netherlands will face three-time champions Australia in the semi-finals on Saturday.